It was a parent's worst nightmare. My 12-year-old daughter was gravely ill. I'd seen this before, other parents, other children. But now, now it was my daughter. She had taken a turn for the worse, and I needed a miracle. But how? Who could I turn to? We had tried everything, and now she was dying. I, no, I was, I was pleading, this cannot be. My daughter is dying. I was a leader in our local synagogue and should know of these things and how to respond, but I was beside myself. Now what? What could I do? I ran outside, desperate. Someone, anyone. Oh God, help me. Help my daughter. I saw a great crowd stirring around a figure who had just arrived by boat from the other side of the Sea of Galilee. It was Jesus. I knew about Jesus. I heard about his teaching, his works, his miracles. Maybe he could help. So pushing and shoving through the crowd, I ran to him in desperation. And he looked at me. I fell down at his feet. Oh, Jesus, my little daughter is at the point of death. Come, please, lay your hands on her so that she may be made well and live. Will you please? Please come right away. I saw the compassion in his eyes, and he went with me. The ever-growing crowd pushed in on us as we moved, wanting to be close to see him to see what he would do. Then, from out of the chaos, Jesus suddenly stopped and turned. Who touched my clothes? He asked, turning around. The disciples thought this question was ridiculous. They said to Jesus, how can you say, who touched me? With the crowd pushing in on you, all around from all sides. But then, there she appeared. She had touched him. She had touched Jesus' robe. Singled out now, with the eyes of the crowd upon her, this woman was terrified. She stepped forward and fell down before Jesus, began to tell him the whole truth, how she had been suffering, bleeding for 12 years, and no one, not one single physician, could heal her, but still demanded payment while she continued to get worse. She had heard about this Jesus and said, if I can just touch his clothes, I know I will be made well. It was at this moment that both she and Jesus knew that something had happened. Her hemorrhage stopped bleeding, and Jesus knew that power had gone out from himself. Jesus then spoke a word to her. 
I heard as he called her his own family member when he said, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. I thought if he could do that for this woman, maybe, just maybe, there's hope for my daughter. I hoped we were not too late. But at that very same moment, my nightmare came true. Friends came and I could see in their faces that it was over. We were too late. Your daughter is dead, they said, weeping. Don't bother Jesus anymore. Well, this was it. I could feel the blood flow from my face and I wanted to slump to the ground. Seeing this, Jesus spoke directly to me. Do not fear, only believe. And so we continued on to my home. Jesus allowed Peter, James, and John to follow us. When we arrived, a loud commotion of weeping and wailing was happening as he entered. Jesus spoke to the crowd, why are you weeping? It seemed insensitive that he would say this, why are you weeping? But then he said, the child is not dead, but sleeping. Some in the audience laughed when they heard this. We all knew better than that. My daughter was dead, and that was it. But with that, Jesus sent everyone outside, except for my wife and myself and a few others who were with him. And there she was. My heart was broken as I looked at her, lying motionless in her bed. But Jesus took her hand and said to her, Talitha Kum, little girl, get up. Her eyes opened, her arms pulled back, elbows underneath, lifted herself up, just as Jesus commanded her. She swung her legs off the side of the bed, stood up, and began to walk around. How could this be? We were awestruck. Then, overcome with joy, our daughter was dead and is now alive again.
I know that when Christ speaks, his word actually does something powerful. The sick are healed, and even my daughter was raised from death. I heard him teach and preach that this promise belongs to all who would hear it. The Lord has given me faith, not by my own strength, but through my weakness. <laughs>